I was really good at school, I was quite academic, so I think everyone was quite shocked. People expected me to go to university and college, but it was just not right for me. I didn't need to go to uni to do what I wanted to do and qualify, so I wanted to do hands-on experience and I was able to do that with the apprenticeship scheme. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to the Apprenticeship Awards here in Yeovil. The apprenticeship scheme really for me is how we um, get the quality people right at the start, train them to a good level uh, and, and get them working with us as a career with us really more than just a job. They come in fresh, full of ideas, enthusiastic, keen to learn, um, they fit straight away into our workforce. We actually don't necessarily realise who's an apprentice and who's a permanent member of staff. Oh, the benefits are just fantastic. Um, they don't only just come with a qualification, but they come with the right values and the right beliefs and they, they really fit in nicely into our, into our workforce. Um, and they understand the business and that's what the apprenticeship brings. It, they really understand the business and what they've got to deliver. I was really nervous going in on the first day. Um, I quite often told that when I first started I looked like a typical schoolgirl. It was difficult meeting people for the first time and not having either a parent or a teacher there with you to sort of introduce you. Like myself at school, I didn't do anything. It was when I left school I realised, you know, the learning potential and, you know, as long as there's that, that will to, to progress and to learn, then we'll, we'll look at anybody, really. But what you do look for is you look for somebody who always does their best and you can rely on. But somebody that, that has the ambition and the excitement to learn and somebody that can work with colleagues. It's a great opportunity, you really get into the organisation and you get the experience which most people want when you go to an interview. You also get to earn while you learn, which is very important. The money was um, a great help, um, saved up for a car, bought myself a new car. And you get to socialise, you still get to go to college and meet new people. Bringing that, that new youthfulness and exuberance and keenness to, to the company, it, it keeps us on our toes. And the thing that we didn't recognise so much that's had such a big impact is the cultural benefits that it's had. You know, the innovation they're bringing, the technical knowledge, the desire to want to learn, the flexibility, just their general approach to work is really having a big impact on our company and I'm sure it's the same for the other employees in the room. We have a lot of uh, apprentices that have gone on to do project working uh, um, and really running a lot of programmes, uh, so they're really working into our management structures quite nicely. Luckily I finished the apprenticeship after uh, 14 months, I got through it quite quickly. I qualified a year early, so I've done quite well there and I got that to the highest level I could get, so better than I probably would have done if I'd gone to college and got A-levels. Before I finished my apprenticeship they offered me a full-time job. Um, and I was offered a promotion at the workplace. And I'm also now mentoring uh, another apprentice. Definitely choosing an apprenticeship was the right thing for me. Definitely consider it, even if it's not what's expected of you. I really I would encourage them. Definitely. Let me just tell you absolutely clearly that the road which you have embarked on, as far as I'm concerned, is the road that can take you right to the top, whatever your career ambitions are.